Welcome to The One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. My name is Tara. I am your intuitive tarot reader. I use tarot as a tool to open up the channels of your intuition. By tapping into your unawakened subconscious, you will answer the questions that you seek. I am not a psychic, although it may seem like it sometimes. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Always remember, the freedom of choice is your power. Only you can make it happen with your actions. What are you seeking? Hello, welcome to the one who seeks. Man, I've been sitting on this deck for a quite a long time. I feel like a month, maybe. Um, we're gonna do an unveiling of the deck. Okay. At this time, I'd like to ask you to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Uh, like and share this content for others to get the same benefits if you find this useful okay so this is the wild unknown archetypes deck and guidebook by kim kranz all right looks like there's a thing right there oh interesting there's a diamond oh <laughs> I wonder if that's the back of it. I saw somebody use this deck the other day and I was like, oh, I love the diamond in the back. I'm not realizing I have the deck. Let's see. Let's see if this is the same one. Oh, this has got a really nice book to it. Accept all, reject none. Okay. And, um,. Wow, it seems to go pretty in depth with some things here. So, yes, definitely. This is what I need to be using for my pre-oracle topics for sure. Okay, oh, and it comes in its own little uh, container here. And there they are. Yep, this is that deck. It's got the diamond on the back. I like it. Okay, and then we have the pearl inside here. The hidden pearl. We have a pearl there as well. Okay, let's see. There are quite a bit of cards here. And then we have some jewelry inside. Okay, so we're just going to go through one by one. The mother, you know, she has a pearl here, like mother of pearl. The father, which is interesting. It's like two sides of something. It's the uh, negative of the tree, right? The negative and the positive. We have the starborn. This is like the child coming out of the egg. This is the eternal child already born. Maybe teaching you some lessons. The orphan. The mentor. The poet. The maiden. So like soul collages, the hunter, the warrior, the queen, the king, the crone, the judge, the shapeshifter, Interesting. The shaman. The lover. The siren. The animal. The pilgrim. 
the mystic, the creator, the destroyer, the sustainer, the healer, the comic, <laughs> the unseen, the shadow, the self, the one, the heart, the cave, the mountain, the river, the ocean, the forest, the desert. I love how there's like different geographical locations. The bridge, the temple, the dead end, the village, the empty room, the castle, the box, the threshold, the womb, the storm, the underworld, the fault line, the bardo, the flame, the tear, the riddle, the vow, the vision, the gem, the ring, the nectar, the mandala, uh, medallion, medallion, the kiss, the mask, the sword, the venom, the offering, the prayer, the seed, the stone, the mirror, the vessel, Red, heroes, agape, than, thanatos, thanatos, apocalypse, apocalypsis, genos, his genosis. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to look these up. Uh, Kairos, Kairos, Athena, and Anima Mundi. I wonder what those are, what those were like. Um, gods and goddesses? The death and the truth. Okay, I'll be interesting to the initiations. Be interesting to use these. Um, definitely would want to use those as the opening cards uh, so that we can look into the book a little more find out uh, what they mean so it's interesting I really do like the back I like that it has a diamond um, some of these though since it is like um, a soul collage I feel like some of these are so rushed and not like pasted on here nicely. It just has a lot of background to it. You know, that one has like a nice, like it doesn't have the background there and it's placed on there. That looks better to me, I feel like, than 
something like that, although this one is kind of cut into a shape. Um, some of them, you know, like this, I feel like could have been a little nicer, but that's just my own opinion and judgment. But once we actually start using these in some readings, um, some of those things might come out as something really meaningful, right? So yeah, can't wait to use those in a reading. Probably our next reading, and we'll figure that out. Okay, so that's the Archetypes Guidebook, uh, or the Wild Unknown Archetypes and Guidebook. Okay, not really all that exciting. Um, hopefully you can see those pictures. And we're gonna move on to the next deck. I want to thank you and our angels for being present for the messages that have come through in this reading. If you found this to be helpful, please like and share this content so others can benefit as well. Seek the subscribe button and don't forget to get notifications so you never miss a reading. The more love you share, the more love you receive. And you can find more love right here in these other videos. For more information about this channel, personal readings, swag, and donations, check the links in the description box.